I think we are fairly close to seeing a peak, at least short term, barring any unforeseeable issues. Obviously, the price of crude oil has struggled in the last couple of weeks, gyrating between 80 and 85 dollars a barrel, now falling back under 80 dollars a barrel. This certainly could be welcome news uh, in terms of gasoline prices. Should oil prices stay under 80 dollars, it could open up for more declines and American consumers should be prepared to see gas prices start declining in the week ahead as many consumers there prepare for Thanksgiving. Patrick, uh, but OPEC clearly is not playing ball and barring an SPR release, can the federal government really offer any relief? Uh, it does not look so. In fact, President Joe Biden may only have one or two cards in his deck uh, to play at this point, and those cards would represent minuscule decreases that would likely be temporary in nature. Uh, this is certainly a global phenomenon. High oil prices are not limited to the United States. So to see the U.S. president, uh, he certainly does not have a magic wand to alleviate the increase in demand being witnessed globally. And as a result, uh, the president in the United States has very few tools that could bring a meaningful relief uh, to the world price of crude oil. Hey, Pat, Martin here. Let me uh, get back into the conversation here and back to uh, uh, the issue of uh, gasoline and the FTC and uh, what the president actually told uh, uh, Ms. Khan, uh, the head of the FTC. Uh, whether it's illegal conduct or collusion, I don't know. But what is your sense? I mean, the president's argument to Lena Khan was, look, uh, the unfinished price of gasoline is down more than 5%, while gas at the pump is up 3%. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think on average nationwide, uh, you know, f fill her up, unleaded, it's going to cost about three forty dollars a gallon right now. Yeah, Martin, the, the decrease, well, we've started to see a little bit of a decrease. The national average actually moving down slightly in the last week. Uh, but as you mentioned, uh, it's not too unfamiliar to see a U.S. president call on the FTC to investigate the oil and gas sector. President Obama did it in 2011, and President Bush also did it in 2006 as energy prices increased. Now, I do have a problem with the way President Biden phrased it, uh, alluding to a drop in the market that was not being passed along. In the last several weeks, we have seen oil prices gyrate, sometimes violently, in one trading session, fluctuating as much as two or three U.S. dollars per barrel. So I think the president may be picking and choosing the date of what he's looking at. And that's probably the reason why we are not seeing a price decline is because oil prices continue to move volatilely. And certainly without a, a, a continued drop in the price of gasoline, uh, gas stations are reluctant to pass along any single day decreases, knowing that prices could go right back up.